Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I am back with a new video. Hi guys, so today's video is gonna be an exciting one. We will be reviewing the Etio House Fixing Tints for Spring Summer 2022. They released three new shades over here. So this is how they look like. So the outer packaging actually corresponds with the color of the tint itself. Uh, so we have number 10, Smoky Cherry over here. We have number 11, Rose Blending. And then we also have number 12, Salmon Brick. And I actually own all the colors for the fixing tints. I don't know how to show this in a nice proper way, but yes, I own all of them. So in total, there are 11 shades right now for Etude House's fixing tints lineup. If you guys are interested in like the like colors, swatches in the first like five, and then the following three that were released, I'll put cards up above, go and check it out. I do more in-depth like review and live swatches as well, you guys can go check that out. I realized one thing, you know, we have like 11 shades of lip tints over here, right? The latest three are later as 10, 11, 12. And there's no knife shade. I don't know, is it just me or am I like missing out? Because I've been trying to search the internet for that knife shade and I don't seem to find it anywhere. Let me know if you guys know the missing nine. Mmm, conspiracy. Anyway, I'll be doing live lip swatches of these three shades over here and also we'll be comparing them to the uh, current shades that are available right now. So which are similar, which are dupes of one another, which one you can miss out, that kind of stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, I brought it in slightly closer. I have removed my lip balm. Initially, I was wearing the Dior lip balm and the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask the night prior to prep my lips for today. So uh, yeah, these are the three shades again. I'm not really sure which shade to start off with. Shall we start off with number 10, Smoky Cherry. The doe foot applicator, the packaging, everything, the smell even, that chocolatey cosmetic kind of smell, everything is still the same, it's just colour difference, alright? So here we go, Smoky Cherry. Smoky Cherry, this is how it looks like one layer. I just kind of uh, spread it out a little by smacking my lips together. And this is how it looks like. This is described by Etude House as a warm spring light shade. So you definitely can see it's a very bright pink kind of color. I'm not too sure if it's a warm <laughs> undertone. So um, I actually don't really like this shade, uh, especially on me. It kind of looks a little bit too bright. I think uh, there's a little bit too much of that white pigment, giving me that 2009-2010 early, you know, K-pop MV vibes with the neon tint, pink tint. Uh, yeah, that's what it's reminding me of. Not my go-to shade. Also, the name Smoky Cherry, like, I don't think so. <laughs> smoky where? <laughs> I don't think this is anywhere smoky. When I think of smoky, I think of like a grungy deep kind of colours. Cherry, like a cherry bitten uh, deep red kind of colour. This is actually my least favourite out of the trio if you're curious. So yeah, mm, I don't like it. It's actually drying down right now. You can see that it's exactly the same as all the other tints. The formula is the same as well. It's quite good in coverage actually. Who will like this? If you like maybe like Barbie pinks, I think you will actually really really like this tint because this is not similar to any shades in the lineup at all. This is has really like a standout on its own. So if you like Barbie pinks or you just want a very like that bright pink lip, then you will most likely like uh, Smoky Cherry. I'm gonna go in with one more layer just to build it up a little bit. Alright, so this is Smoky Cherry on my very warm, light, medium Asian skin tone. So um, yeah, it's really that Barbie pink which I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> I usually prefer those type of muted, um, warm, uh, reds, oranges even, not a big fan of pinks personally, so yeah, this is not it for me. But hey, if you like this type of colour, you do you sister, I respect, <laughs> respect, respect, you do you. Alright, so it's already kind of stained my lips a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, we'll be moving on to Rose Blending number 11, this is how it looks like. So this is how Rose Blending number 11 looks like on me, one layer. And I actually really really do like this colour. So Etude House actually describes this as a cool summer mute colour. And you can see that it kind of leans a little bit uh, more cool tone definitely. And also it's a little bit 
purpley in a sense, like purpley mauve kind of colour. I think this is a very very pretty shade to have in the lineup because this shade is only similar to one other colour in the lineup which I'll share with you guys in a little bit. I think that this shade, it's a nice to have as well, especially when you're doing more um, cool tone mauve or purple looks even because sometimes when I do like to wear like purple eyeshadows, I find uh, it difficult to have. For example, if I want to do like a monochromatic look, I don't really have a lot of purple like lip colours that will actually look good on my like Asian skin tone. Either it will look too like stark or it will look too... Um, like flat, like sometimes it looks like grey even, which mm, not what I'm going for, I don't want to look dead, not yet, you know, that kind of thing. So I think this is a nice to have, it kind of gives enough like oomph to my like lip look, which I don't look so, you know, like dead really. <laughs> and it's a little bit like bright as well. So if you are very like conservative and you would like to wear more like nudes or peaches and you find that this colour might be a little bit like out there for you but actually not really i think this color you guys can check it out it's not too crazy it's something different in my lip collection at least for the lip shades that i have granted i'm wearing a very like neutral eye look eye look today i'm actually wearing going coconuts by colourpop so yeah this is a super duper neutral eye look but look this, this works. This works really, really well. My colour profile is somewhere in between uh, summer and autumn. I can kind of pull both off, but sometimes the summer, when it's a little bit too close to the spring side, I, I'm a little bit like, whoa, okay, yeah, nah, kind of thing. But normally, I am very comfortable with warm autumn colours and also uh, summer colours from time to time as well. So this, this actually looks pretty good. I really really do like this. Let me quickly add the second layer on. Alright, so this is Rose Blending second layer on and I actually really really do like this a lot. It's nothing too crazy. It's something very wearable as well. I do like it. And the colour that is quite similar to Rose Blending is actually number 7, Cranberry Plum. This is the previous collection that was uh, released, the number Cranberry Plum, Soft Walnut and I think Dusty Beige if I'm not wrong, yeah. Alright, so this is Rose Blending and this is Cranberry Plum over here. Cranberry Plum is actually described as a neutral autumn winter deep dark colour. And I remember from my previous review and my experience wearing it so far, I didn't really like Cranberry Plum because it was just a little bit too mm, bright in a sense. So I actually didn't really like it that much. These two shades, they are in a similar like color family. You know, you get that um, mauve pink, uh, romantic kind of colors, which is kind of nice. Uh, but I personally prefer the rose blending shade right now. It's a little bit more muted as what well as the description shade has said. For Etude House, I nearly messed up my words. <laughs> so normally with a tendency for mute colors like this, Jesus, upstairs is dragging some chairs. I'm so sorry, but this color over here, this color over here, the rose blending shade, mute colors in general have this tendency to have a little bit of that gray undertone. So that's why it's slightly more wearable and compared to this one, this one doesn't really have a lot of grey in it. So that's why it looks a little bit more stark, a little bit more bright. This is really toned down and it's a, at a comfortable level for me personally. So I think for yeah, yellow Asian skin tones, uh, if you've got to choose between these two, I would say uh, you should check out the Rose Blending one if you're looking for a more like a toned down, purpley, mauve kind of colour. I think you will actually really, really like this colour. Something different as well, you know, not your typical oh, browns, reds, bright red kind of thing, warm brick red, you know, that kind of colour. Yeah, so yeah, I actually do like this shade quite a lot. Not sure how I did this for like five lip tints in the past, but anyway, we're gonna be reviewing the last one, number 12, Salmon Brick. We're gonna go in with one layer again. Alright, so this is how Salmon Brick looks like on me and Etude House actually describes this as a warm autumn mute 
colour, which I completely agree with this one. Uh, this looks the most natural in a sense, not so stark against my complexion. It blends in well my complexion as well. And I actually really, really like uh, muted kind of colours. It looks just slightly more wearable in general. You don't really have to like think so much when pairing it with your eye looks, for example. So if you, you know, are more comfortable with uh, just like a... Just a tad bit more colour in your lips then yes this will actually look good on um, your warm skin tone. For Salmon Break there are actually two colours that are very very similar in the lineup. Uh, one is being Midnight Mauve over here. I know you've been wondering what? That kind of colour? <laughs> and also Soft Walnut. So these two over here are really similar to Salmon Break over here and you're wondering what? Crystal? This Midnight Mauve colour similar? Really? What? <laughs> I'll show you guys. So this is Salmon Break, and then we're gonna put Midnight Moth like next to it, okay. Okay, maybe on camera it doesn't look that similar, but you know like the colour family is really really close. And then last but not least, Soft Walnut. Alright, so this is how it looks like. So this trio over here, the colour family is quite similar. If, I swear, if Etude House had released a colour story like this, it would work for like a fall winter collection, not gonna lie. Uh, but this is Salmon Break, this is Midnight Moth, and this is a uh, Soft Walnut. So you can see Soft Walnut is definitely much deeper in colour, much richer as well. More of that burnt uh, colour. This Salmon Break is definitely like a similar tonal value to the Midnight Moth colour over here. Midnight Moth is just pulling a little bit more of that pinky mauve colour but this is your muted red colour actually so yeah I just, just wanted to show you guys and also oh let's just do one of that uh, red colour what was it is it analog rose I think analog rose was uh was like a red that was like slightly like brighter the difference between it so at least you have a comparison at least like how much is the mutedness if you own like any one of these tints. So uh, this is analog rose. So you can see this is your like typical bright red uh, colour. So you can see this is very muted. It's quite a significant difference. Let me just swatch uh, vintage red as well for you guys. So I'm gonna swatch vintage red. I'm oh, sorry, this is a terrible swatch position, Jesus. But you can see this is also a significantly brighter colour these two compared to these three over here. So if you are looking for that more uh, bright colours in general, then I really think you will prefer the first two. If you're looking for more toned down the lip colours, slightly more wearable, then I think these- oh no, I just poked one of the swatch. Oh no, <laughs> still dropping down. But I think you will like the trio over here at the bottom if you are if you like more muted colours. It's raining now, I'm sorry if you hear anything. But I forgot to add one more layer of Salmon Brick, so let's quickly do that. of Salmon Brick. So you can see that um, it just builds up the opacity. There's not a significant like I would say effect because I think with like double layering with like brighter colours, I think there's a more significant like oomph effect. But for the Salmon Brick colour like those that are muted uh, toned down colours like these, I think you can get away with like one swipe kind of thing. Alright, so these are all 11 shades from Etude House right now and you can see I think Etude House has nailed down a solid uh, colour selection for the fixing tints by quite a bit. I think what they are lacking right now is actually nudes. Nudes such as like a, a nudie peach, a nudie uh, pink or even maybe diving into deeper nudes like that deep dark chocolate brown even. Oh, I think the moment Etude House includes these types of colours into the, the, the range, Chef Kiss, this is a solid uh, lip tint line that I think anyone will actually enjoy. They are matte, they are mask proof, they don't budge, they only budge when you start eating food. And I think this is a really really nice formula. Alright, so quick review. So Smoky Cherry, no, don't like it. Only if you like Barbie Pink, yes. If not, no. <laughs> 11, Rose Blending. It's a nice addition to your collection if you're lacking like a rosy, mauve purple leaning lip tint. This is a nice addition and also quite wearable for, I think, Asian skin tones personally. And Salmon Break, which is what I have right now. 
the most flattering at least for me very wearable i can put it on my lips out the door kind of stuff this is looking really nice hope you guys found this video helpful thank you so much for watching and i want to say thank you also for a thousand subs you know a lot of people may think it's not a lot to me it is and i adore every single one of you thank you so much i'm really really appreciative of it and uh, yeah i hope to see you around in my channel again and yeah do remember to leave a like, subscribe down below, and also ring the bell. Ringing the bell helps you keep you notified on when I upload. I usually upload on Friday, so you can keep a lookout for that. And I will see you guys really, really soon. <laughs> My voice. <laughs> I need to drink water now. Stay safe. Bye-bye.